Greetings, hello and welcome back to more Lore of the Chosen, this time with the commentary live as it is. I hope um, the little experiment in the last episode, an intentional experiment uh, at the end of the day, was to everyone's liking. I know um, the audio settings or the, the volume levels between me and the logical could have been a little bit smoother, but uh, you know. Got to try something new every now and then. Anyway, we're in a new mission. We've got five people here against seven to nine. We've got a jailbreak with five targets that we need to rescue. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, definitely have a network tower with a small alloy cache or advanced PCS. And we can greet again, I think. Yeah, we do have a laptop. Probably worth greeting. Um, so many gremlins here, which actually tells me, oh god, all the hunting shotguns, I remember now setting this up and thinking, no, no, those are ballistic weapons, would really not be running around with those, I guess we have one shotgun, um, let's... You still have a second move. Okay, we have nothing there, so let's scout a little bit in that direction. Okay, all right. We add a, some sort of muton, then we have a muton hunter, 16 health to armor. That's a lot of, lot of health to chew through. And there was some sort of muton in there. Kind of need, we, we kind of need to do something. Well, your frost shots will not help against, against this guy. I'm not sure, that might have also been frost, frosty. Got it covered. Let's get in position here on this door. Affirmative. Covering now. They're buggering off. They're moving away from us. Those guys are coming in a little bit. I'm going into this little security station, huh? Which makes for some interesting line of sight. So the dude is there though. So gotta be careful. Uh, let's move you up. Okay, so I think we forget about those guys and, and set up on that mutant hunter there. Good to go. Will do. It's good so far. Um, oh boy, it's it's crowded here. I mean, I was kind of concerned uh, spawning this close to the prison cells. We're not going to have much room to maneuver with. Hmm. Move a, a P grenade. The, those advent guys in the back seemed fairly squishy. What's my damage on this? Well, probably nothing because frost. But what if I were to hit the muton? Huh? Just where? Let me run to over. So my problem here is, of course, that 
going anywhere closer will probably trigger this this um, other group there. Let's Roger. Get some ice on us. You have reduced Time action range. Okay. Out. Let's check out what your damage on that mutant is. 8 to 12 with a frost bullet. I'm not sure how this whole um, shooting twice is going to be affected by armor, so it might actually be less than 8 to 12. And if we want to move in, then we have the engineer and all the party on our backs. Do we have any other ways of approaching? There's n well, this is the closest way up on this roof. Another group of a, a muton and a snake over here. This is all a little bit suboptimal here. Your question is, will it get any better if they start moving away further? Probably not. Alright, so here's what I'm Move you here. You have AP ammo, and you've got Overwatch. Fit on Overwatch, etc. Then... I'm gonna focus fire the mute on. Double check that you don't actually see any one of the others, okay? I'm gonna shoot him, and we'll see where we go. Deflection! They've got our position! Two very good hits. As long as the Overwatch doesn't miss, that should take him out. Okay. There you go. And the Edda is just disappearing inside. What? Okay. In that case. Lost, lost, lost. I'm just gonna move you over here. Chaining Jolt value. Actually hit all three of them for two damage and then we have a lot of problems. Um, no, 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 no. Not happening. Got some advent here. It should be the map then. We've got two, these two guys in here, these three guys in here. The snake who decided to fall back, but fall back where? Like, huh? Very strange. We might just pop you here. Which already gives us line of sight on the prison cells. Okay, so I'm thinking uh, I wanna Heading out. I wanna have a scout in there. See if I can spot where the snake is. Okay, it's still there. It's like 
Yeah, it's trying to fall back, but not really. That's a up top. Get an overwatch. Ziel. Right there. On Overwatch. Wonderful. It's a wonderful. So I'm thinking we got we gotta take down this guy. And then we'll see what we do with the second action and we we'll see where the snake is in the meantime. Alternatively, I'll give you a teamwork and you can get on the Raptor Commando. I like the sound of that. Or we give you a Command. Das kann ich machen. Wurde gesehen. Ich habe das Zeug. You've been spotted, or, or who spotted you? I tell me, picking up loot spots uh, makes you visible. Oh, we got line of sight on the civilians for some reason. Snake has been in there. Okay. Well, that makes it a little bit awkward, but I think the snake is still there. Probably then means I teamwork you, and you can then go here and shoot the snake twice. Alright, cool. Means we're gonna do a command here. I'm gonna go deep against this guy. That's not quite what I was hoping for. The munition into a shot on this guy. Okay. Uh, a little bit, little bit rough of the grazes here. But that's kind of why why I have you. Kein problem. So I think we caustic this. Which means he's now poisoned and on acid, so, so should die. And I'll move you here for the blade stone. Keep my fingers crossed. Then, you come somewhere where you can teamwork up top. It might be trickier than I initially thought. Like, I have a spot over here, right, where I can see him. I just don't want to go there. Okay. That's the spot. No retreat. I hope it's worth it. I mean, just need two hits for five at least. We're green to go. Happy now. 
Okay, the guy's active, but can't actually get out of the cells because we haven't hacked it yet. So let's just end it up. That's a burn. You're also poisoned. He probably just forgot about it. It happens all the time. So, ah, oh, yeah, right, the poison. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know what's happening here, buddy. But you were late on the dying part, so let me help you out with that. And we evac back there, so let's just go. We're not getting all the kills. Like I'm not I'm not chasing these two. Um I think I'll have you run away this way. And get a hack in on this tower next turn. TT goes inside, hacks, hacks out the civilians, and then we leave. I just actively want to get away from um, that, that mutant and snake. Already there. Let's go this way. All right, I'll go. Natürlich. Do we want to system infiltrate? We just we just take it. What is it? Yeah, ninety eight resistance yeah, test. We have Zugang. Okay, and with the last two enemies being somewhere over here, I think we can actually safely just start dashing. There might be a Zulu drone somewhere, but what's the, what's the drone going to do? I'm going. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Now, what's the negative here? Map alert. Greifer auf System zu. Yeah, I'm not sure. Go there. Got it covered. Up top, cross, and get out. I'll give you one Got more turn. Like if if there's a if there's a wild drone somewhere here, trying to ruin our day. Verstanden. A little bit of a safety net. But other than that. Position bestätigt. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Other than that, we are out here. What's over there? Spurtelos! Kein Problem, boss. In Ordnung! Next thing now. Pack it in! Yeah, no. Geht klar. Bereit zum Abmarsch. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah, so it was just eight enemies, just those two guys, and I don't know. If we, I think if we had gone for them, 
it might have been an issue with reinforcements also coming in and running around with a bunch of ballistic shotguns tier one weapons didn't really fill me with confidence there so got in got out got the dudes and despite the destruction left in their wake XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world they will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the elders for their support in ending this menace once... Good work out there, Commander. The aliens must be getting nervous by now. Alright, so we are building an Overwatch Ranger. So the big question is, what do we go for here? Um, Avenger, I completely disregarded, but I'm actually not sure if I saw that this was Avenger. I probably thought this was Nonchal Pass. No. Take a shot with a sword drive on a visible enemy that's taken an offensive action, such as firing upon a visible ally. So every turn I get an extra shot just from that. Hmm... Or I get implacable with the free move after a kill, which of course doesn't happen if your your kill is from an overwatch shot. Or bring him on extra damage on crits, which have terrible scaling. I think I've, I've rented out about uh, uh, bring him on more times than I can count. Um, like, which is kind of nice to have still with Rupt Reaction, but damn, I don't... I'm, I'm really torn here. Like, Avenger could mean we get four shots. It could also mean we take reaction shots at enemies that we don't actually want to take reaction shots on. Okay, it will not... Uh, can I change the enemy's turn? Dropping in as reinforcements is an offensive action. Is this revealing themselves? Only warrior is counted as an offensive action. Well, in a sudden reversal that nobody expected, we'll take an Avenger. And forgetting about these two. Although there was, of course, now that I see it, um, we had some synergy with anatomy and, and bring them on, but again, still. Damage scaling, poo poo, so we're not taking it. A um, little bit light on the loot, but you know, we also didn't kill everybody, so. Can't complain about that. And we got ourselves two new rookies and three new rebels. So let's take a look at the rookies. I was about to say, we haven't had anyone with really exceptional stats, and now, finally, we have somebody with exceptionally terrible aim. 56? You can get 55, but that is as low as it goes. Uh, where did your stat budget go, buddy? I guess 6 health? Because 6 in mobility is just one higher than normal. You have low combat intelligence. Very low, even. Man. Uh, and then we have uh, Mariam Farouk, who is about as average as you can, can get. Um, very high combat intelligence, or high. Low health, average mobility, exactly average aim, I think slightly higher than average willpower. Like willpower, I don't remember what the, what the typical range is. So what do we do with a 56 aim? You, you don't even have hex score. Like, what the hell, dude? Uh, what are we going to do with you? Still, I still don't have a Dragoon, but... 8... 8... 6 hacking Dragoon? Seems... Seems not like I want that. 
Um, I'm thinking you're lobbing grenades in your future. Uh, are you? So I'm not actually 100% sure if Demolitionist was a Grenadier fully. Let's, let's go to GTS. Um, rocket launcher, grenade launcher, or specialized bullets. No, no, bullets is bad. We're not hitting anything. Rocket launcher is also bad. That also relies on aim. Um, which raining an arsonist right now? Combat engineer. And go with grenades back there. What do you mean? A rough position here. To show up with 56 aim. Um, you know what, combat engineer? Potentially, like, yeah, grenadier, combat engineer, officer. Go. Let me double check. I don't. I don't have a combat engineer. Yeah. Okay. Seems good. I think we have a fairly, fairly big barracks this run. Then let's go to resistance management, New Mexico. Got four new people. That all want to go on Intel, and that are totally not faceless. Don't worry, we just just put in a Reaper here to to get to know you. Okay, there's our lip free. This is our chance. It is the good one, which gives us an additional contact, gives us intel. Um, yeah, actually, on second thought. Sorry, we need you. Clear the squad. We're going to bring a bunch of people from the top of the roster here. Uh, last respective bond mates. As much as I want to use trial by fire somewhere, we, we kind of want to have an officer, right? Get a new trial of fire in three days, so that's fine. Okay, let's bring let's bring Titan. Let's bring Commando. So next up, I don't think Crimson Lances are going to cut it. So we need the Tomnotic Rifle. Then we should have a lot of plating for everybody.
That's a magnetic level weapon. You throw grenades. Do we have a good grenade launcher for you? Like, this is, in my opinion, one of the hardest missions in the game, the lip free. So that's why I'm kind of bringing in whatever we can have. Okay, so good plating on everybody. Go for more speed. But not sure yet. All right, next up, you keep that. Uh, how we looking? Got one more predator armor. Uh, let's build one more, and I think we also bring build in the reaper armor. And then get some up attachments here. Back on these puppies. Um, something to reload. Laser sight. Heavy barrel. You have death dealer, yes. So we want to have those those fancy high damage crits. Um, you probably also kind of want to get high crits. Go for the laser sight. Little loader. Three people with AP ammo. We could and should steal the Mac Shorty from our Buccaneer. You've got the grenades. You really need to get the last upgrade to get sting grenades. I think you get those next level, right? Yeah, yeah having you on that mission is going to give you a bunch of XP, hopefully. Okay. Mobility check. 13, 12, 14, 13, 13, 15. Nobody below 12. That's, for me, the important part. We've got sealed armor, dark event. We don't have any elemental damage here, so that's also great. Let's do this. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. Now, we will most likely boost this and run this... I almost want to say as soon as possible. Well, first of all, no longer need the scientist here. In fact, there's a very good chance that we get a retaliation here now. Strength 4. Let's make sure we have that in place. Uh, and a few over here. Cool. And I hope we can complete this mission before the UFO catches us, because otherwise we have six important people not on the UFO. Right, scanning site, eight days. Um, that all being said and done, I think we're scanning here. I want to potentially catch an incoming UFO, like landed UFO or incoming supply rate. There's also still a chance that this strength just moves through. It's just on the way to Western US. Dark event with rapid response and undying loyalty active. What a nasty thing. But I think we have to do this. I wish I knew when the UFO launched.
I might just have to check uh, when the UFO started. And based on this, let me actually just finish the mutant autopsy. I think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. So, um, here's the thing. We could have exceptionally early, like coil guns before the first HQ would be insane. Uh, we also would have no money to actually buy a single coil gun. Um, I think we gotta go either purify autopsy, get at sentry grenades, or we could do stun lance autopsy for some more tier 3 weapons, melee weapons, or mobile armor for grappling suits. I do like my grappling suits, but they are also fairly pricey. Like you get the one for the research for fifty, and then for some reason any follow-up costs you seventy. Can I can I just do the research again? Um, let's do the lancer. The advent. Let's do the lancer autopsy. And then we'll check who we can infiltrate on this mission here. Um, anyone else? Any is coming back in 80, 30, 30 something in hours, in some hours. An unspecified time of hours, okay. Um, let's bring grenades. Let's bring Hunter and Assault. Ah, uh, yeah, good. Hunter is probably going to carry that anyway. And I think then, in that case, we bring in... I might just have to withdraw the Haven Advisors. Well, let me see. Um, let's actually instead bring... Agent and Quartermaster. Did not come. Okay, that's a Bible blade for you. I see free hunting shotguns again this is this is not sustainable um, I was kind of thinking where is he let's bring an officer again we can do the hacking remotely yeah all right how much money do we have for additional Additional weapons. Most importantly, can we get some prototype plasma trench guns? Yes, two of those. Can we get any more um, alloy plating? No.
Okay, we need to we need to make stuff available here. Okay, we've got we've got nanoscale for everybody. And we've got those two inner platings. Up all the grenades in the world. You need a plating. Well, and on the armor front, it's not really that much we can do. I think we have one more trooper armor lying around. So, you could take the mech rifle, but you're also kind of weak on the aim side. I think we just keep you that, keep you mostly running from grenades. I'm actually not, can we just remove that secondary? No, you always have a pistol. Oof. Okay, keep the heater then. I'm actually thinking that this weapon does so much damage on its own, right? 9 to 17. I don't need crits. Like, you just need to hit. So, we put the Talon rounds, um, put them here on Jet. Puts you at 11 mobility, so congratulations, you get a plus 1 mobility PCS. Puts you better at 12. We have money for one more Predator armor if we want. I don't think I want to have that here. Because, you know, my assaults um, are kind of in the in the front lines. It went a little bit too often, probably. I'm not a fan of your 6 HP here, but I'll just keep you in the back. You're just running with the squad to give moral support, throw some grenades, and for the field surgeon of the team. Okay. Sky Ranger to squad green now, deployed. I will check between episodes, like when the UFO launch and if I have to potentially do an early, early retreat on their squad, because I, at this point our barracks would not survive a UFO round assault. But I also don't want to just be grounded here for two weeks. What? That was already active. Did it expire and activate again? Or how does that even work? Do we have double undying loyalty now? Yeah, I think we have the skull drag queued up afterwards. Yeah. I kind of want to pick up the rookies, but at the same time, I really want to get a chance to potentially get get a um, UFO supply rate. Not that we have people to do that, but still, I want to catch it. It's about knowledge. And the cause is advanced. 
Okay, wonderful. Uh, carry on for now, Bradford. Commander, Don't complain. Yes, I know the ring. Facility and deploy our idle soldiers on a covert action with the resistance. All right, we continue here. We're gonna get fearsome because you're gonna get a bunch of crits thanks to Coup de Gras, and then we can hopefully get some panic now. What I don't know is if that actually works. If it just goes for crits with your sword, just with your shield, or with nothing. Also, someone uh, was pointing out that we have... Well, no, we don't have the bio-barrier shield. We don't have a bio-barrier trooper corpse. There's a red one here, so we can't do that. Like, this shield would be fantastic. Although it's kind of, you know, a little bit hard to see sometimes with the bio guys. Because for other people, the whole name of the unit... Oh, we don't have a mutant destroyer corpse, we can't do it. Bio barrier trooper. It's green, but no, actually... There's, there's the red one. Here, you see... You know, Texan grenades we could do if we had supplies. The number is the screen, but yeah, I was like, we didn't get a bio barrier trooper corpse yet. I don't even think we've seen a bio barrier trooper. Um, new code action, maybe. You are doing retribution. Do I care about this? Probably not. And a 57% chance for an ambush. So it's one way to say ambush is probably going to happen here on this one. Which should probably be fine. Um, we just got to make sure we send people who can deal with that. Like the squad we just had. Unless I want to have somebody who's going to level up from this. Questions or questions. Shredder Geneva. I mean, Shredder is good because we have combatives. If we get the lost one, we can deal with that. And I guess the same for Geneva. All right, let's, let's get those two in there. And with the emulator, we have control if we don't get the lost thing. I hate how I can't sort out weapon attachments in this interface. It's not the perfect equip, far from it. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Hoping that in four days I have these people back, so we have a strong rescue squad. If we trigger the ambush. There's the UFO I was afraid of, and it's... I can't do that, can I? It's very interesting that this is a 7 to 9. That makes no sense in a Strength 4 region for a flight, find flight pass mission. Let me just check something. Going back to old, old, old long war tricks. Could we? 
sent in a shinobi and a nondescript hacker. And try to stealth this. And if you were a hacker with Trojan, I would probably actually do that. It's a don of Trojan. You're not a hacker. Um, that was but eighteen hours is too late. Or is it? Thing is, I don't trust the game, right? It, there's no reason for this to be a 7 to 9 mission. In a strength 4 region, that's probably just some weird schedule issue that's showing up now. But once we're fully infiltrated, he's gonna be like, no, no, it's 13 to 15. What are you talking about? So, I think we just have to suck it up. Um, put strength at 5. Three days 14, so this needs to launch before this completes. And there's the retaliation I didn't want to see. Oh boy, okay. There's a troop column with the Viper King. And there's the retaliation. All right, all right, all right. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, first of all, I'm going to spend five intel to see what is the event that we're actually working against here. Rule checkpoints. Don't care. By the time we have this region liberated, this will be over already. So, rule checkpoints. Sky Ranger deployed. We've got him. Heading home. And come home. Which means we're going for the retaliation here. Or rather data tap. Okay. Um I want you on that mission. I want whoever was on that other mission just now. I want a shinobi. Now I'm fairly certain with six supplies, we probably can't um, get a better melee weapon. Fifteen supplies for magnetic scimitar. It's not terrible. I think that's worth a quick Avenger black market trip. Market is open. Oh, 
Okay, let's sell three more cores. Um, let's sell a little bit melt. I'm still feeling positive about my Intel situation. And about my sniper rifle situation. That's good. That's what's the send us. <coughs> I need I need to win missions here. I just can't be sitting on um, stuff that I may or may not eventually use. And then be too afraid to launch missions because I don't have enough uh, equipment. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go back in here. Course for Sector 10, Eastern United States. Okay, and same thing again. And then I'll double check which Chosen actually has this region, because I forgot to look at that. So, weapon-wise, can we build a scimitar and then upgrade it to a magnetic one? We can. Very nice. Then we can probably build a few more nanoscales. And I think we're gonna strip all of this stuff. And give you that map rifle. I can keep that, that's fine. I think the rest's looking okay. How about armor though? And it could give you better cannon, but you're you're mostly there for the flamethrower. Um, so this is going to be a squad. I'm going to have one last look at this is that chosen, which is the hunter. Ooh. I think that's fine. I'm a little bit worried that we have so little armor on people and the hunter can shoot anyone on the map, but he also has eight rebels he can shoot at. Shoot at. What's that then? Okay. A rescue mission with a bad timer. Not doing that. Okay, so let's do the retaliation. And then probably set up the troop column. I'll check when the UFO started. And I'll take a deep breath. And we continue this in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.